I just looked at Nick in the camera. What are you doing? We are in Miami for 12 hours. Step one, let's get a rental car. We got a super cool big uh, Suburban because, uh, well, it's the only thing that would fit the eight people we have with us. So now that we got this, we're gonna go grab lunch to the best place in Miami, hands down. Maybe not hands down, you might get mad at me in the comments, I don't know, whatever. But it is super good, we'll go there right now. Okay, so this place that we're going to is called Versailles, and it's a Cuban place. And I'm not sure why it's called Versailles, because Versailles is not in Cuba. But whatever, uh, this is apparently the most famous Cuban restaurant in the world. Definitely worth a stop. Um, I got a beef empanada and I got the Cuban coffee and I've been dreaming about this coffee for months and it super holds up and I'm really excited about it. How is it? Mm -hmm. Pretty good? good. So we figured out why it's called Versailles. So apparently it has absolutely nothing to do with Cuba and it's just because the French influence in Cuba, it's called Versailles, so it, it means nothing. Um, but it's incredible food, so, so good. Did you like it, Kaylee? Kaylee, if you love the food, stare blankly at the camera. Yeah, it's that. Oh, yeah, yeah, Wow. <laughs> All right, what is that? It's just good. It's a guava cheese. A guava cheese? <laughs> guava cheese pastry. <laughs> It's a pastry. It's a guava cheese. That's why it's called Versailles. <laughs> There's also a full pastry place next door that is so good. I don't know why I did that. That's not a thing I do, so okay. So next we made our way over to something that you absolutely cannot miss when you're in Miami. South Beach. Okay, so for our second location, we have to hit up the beach. Um, honestly, I'm not gonna go out on the beach because we have like two more days of traveling and I don't wanna be all gross, but the beach is really cool. It's really nice. There's a lot of cool cars and uh, good coffee and stuff like that. And also just this lawnmower. So yeah, that didn't work, did it? No. Nope. We're gonna go grab some coffee, just kind of hang out, look at some of the cool cars and that kind of thing. Yeah, South Beach is a pretty great place to be. All right, where are we going next? We're gonna get ice cream! I was quickly corrected and reminded that gelato is not ice cream, but either way, it was delicious and exactly what we needed on a hot day. Okay, another place you need to check out, even when it's hot and wet and gross like this, is this place called Wynwood. It's this really cool arts district where there's all these cool walls like this and just amazing art and everything. And maybe it's not great to do in the rain, but every other time it's awesome. Gosh, it is so wet. Okay, I'm gonna go. Even with the weather's wild swings of going from muggy and hot to absolutely soaking wet, we still had such an incredible time looking at all the beautiful art of Wynwood. Being that my camera and all of us were completely soaked, we dried off and had some incredible food at this Mexican place called Bacan before jumping in the car and heading back to the airport. Okay, so the Wynwood thing got totally rained out. We got soaked, but we found good Mexican food. At the end of the day, we had a lot of fun trying to figure out just like how to handle this layover in Miami. It was a lot of fun. But a couple other things you can do that I've done before, you could drive all the way to Key West, which is the most beautiful drive I have ever been on. It's super cool being kind of out in the middle of the ocean on these bridges, but driving all the way to what is essentially this island, you know, in the middle of the ocean. It's really, really cool, but it takes a while, so you have to have a really long layover. Another really cool thing you can do is one of those cool big, like, fan boats where you go out into the middle of the swamp, 
and there's alligators or crocodiles or whichever one it is, I think it's alligators. It was super fun when I did that with my wife, um, way more than I expected. I kind of did it to make her happy, but you could definitely book one of those and do that on a layover. So another thing you can do that I thought was super cool last time I was here was where you get on a boat and you just drive around and look at all the rich and famous people's houses. I know that doesn't sound like a ton of fun, but I loved it. Like just getting to see Jackie Chan's house like was, was more interesting than you would think, seeing really cool architecture, seeing people with money that I would never want to have or would never even dream of having. It's just a really cool experience that you really only get in Miami. So if you come through Miami and you've got a few hours for a layover, go out and see the city. If you've got like 12 hours like we had, you can do basically anything. So check it out, have fun. If you've got a bunch of other travel hacks, check out some of the videos below. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. People pizza. <laughs> no! Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> People pizza. Stop! <laughs>